All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Serena, and today I am sharing with you what to expect between your twin flame relationship during this Lionsgate portal. Watch this video. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. This video today is part of my retrograde series. Even though Lionsgate is not technically a retrograde period, it's actually kind of like a spring forward. Like, um, you know, retrogrades are where the planets slow down and they look like they're going backwards, but they're really just kind of slowing down where Lionsgate is actually like an excess of energy, like a speeding up of energy. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute, but you know what? I decided this is really important astrological stuff that's going on right now and how it affects us with our twins um, can be such a wide range of things. So it's important to me to make these videos so that I can understand what's going on with the energies, how to best navigate them because they can be very emotional, very turbulent times. Um, and so this Lionsgate portal that we are talking about, if you don't already know, Lionsgate is from July 28th to August 16th and then we always have kind of like smack dab in the middle of that time when it's like quote unquote the strongest is our 8-8 portal, right? And so with this time, you know, I'm not an expert on Lionsgate. I'm not an expert on Sirius and the things that are going on here. And this, um, you know, many of my videos tend to be very practical. This video and these astrology videos tend to be a little bit more channeled and a little bit more esoteric in certain ways. So just bear with me if you are normally watching my other content. This is something just kind of fun and different and something I thought was important for us in the Twin Flame uh, community. So. Lionsgate, it's all about this manifestation energy, right? If you think about the lion, they are full of pride, right? We always hear the lion's pride. So pride, courage. The lions are always about, remember, the heart of a lion. So it's about the heart chakra and heart activation and heart opening and how to use this medicine that's coming to us now. So Sirius is obviously a star in our solar system. Um, as I'm scratching my head because I'm like, spirit, give me the... Give me the downloads on Sirius here. Um, but a lot of you guys probably know more about this than I do. So if you know more about this, please put it in the comments so everyone else can uh, you know, get a little bit more information. Because like I said, this is not typically my space, but it's something I think that's important to share. So we have a lot of light coming in and Sirius. And then basically what happens is there's at the portals is the sun and the um, rising of Sirius are going at the same time, essentially, from my understanding. Um, and so with this time, I'm going to talk more about the archetypes that are going on here, right? So what are the archetypes? What can we look out for? So this is where you want to put so much positive intention into your manifestations, right? So this is about manifesting from a place of pure positive light and clarity, right? So much of what we create in our lives is actually because we're running from things we don't want, right? And disclaimer, while that's not bad, right? It, there are beautiful things that come in the world from creating from places of disempowerment. I was literally meditating this on this literally like yesterday because I had cleaned the house, um, but I cleaned the house from a space of I'm going to feel guilty or I, I don't want my partner to be mad at me if I don't spend my time doing this, right? So that was a very disempowered way to take action. But the outcome of it, I was really happy with because I had a clean house, okay? So this is the idea here. There are beautiful things that come from creating from a place of what we don't want or creating from a place of fear. However, this time is telling us if we use our courage to step out of that fear, we will manifest so much quicker, so much more powerful, so much better. So try to manifest from this place of pure 
positive intention. What do you want to see? What do you want to feel? What do you want to experience in your life? This is also a great time to work with the heart chakra, okay? So a lot of us, because of the light that's coming in, we're going to be getting these DNA upgrades, right? And we're going to be feeling our heart chakra opening. This comes with emotion. So there may be triggering events that happen. And this is what you'll see. You'll have this space at this time to kind of step back from being so reactive, right? Sometimes we can be so reactive when things happen to us and we can be so in our stories that we don't see things clearly. So during this time, we have this space to step back into more of an observer mind and see when something triggered us, we can allow the energy to flow through up and out of the heart chakra and clear and allow it to clear and to come out. And so this will come with emotions, right? So normally things that trigger us and cause us to close down and to shut down and to be angry or to be reactive or to get sad, you know, like those things are still going to come up. But instead of reacting, we will have this space to open our hearts and see that they were actually coming up for our highest good. And that it was actually all perfect and it was actually all divine. And we can let that go now. So even for myself, just in the last few days alone, I've had a lot of things coming up where I'm just feeling into the emotions. And you might feel a lot more strong emotions now, but you don't know where they're coming from or you can't figure out or pinpoint that. And that's okay. The point here is you don't have to have a reason why to feel any sort and certain type of way. So if you feel sad, allow yourself to feel sad. If you feel giddy and happy and like laughing, allow yourself to do that. You know, the lion and the Leo energy is very childlike. It's very playful. So allow yourself to play now. The, the energies are much lighter. They're much more open for these things. So use them to your advantage. Allow yourself to get creative to play with your twin, right? And so this space with the lion's gate, you guys can have the opportunity to manifest together, right? So if you're in union um, or you're looking to have union with your twin and you're in like a phase where you are communicating together and you are in contact, you can use your collective intention to push things forward quicker and to see those results in physical reality faster. So this is a beautiful time with your twin to really sit down and kind of put your heads together and you know open up the possibilities of what you really want for your lives and what you really want to create now for this this also means these heart activations are going to come between you and your twin as well so you may see them on a whole new level right you may see them so much more clearer than you have before you know a lot of times we have so much wounding and programming and filters that we actually don't see our twin clear clearly. And this is a result of also not seeing ourselves clearly. So during this time, those things are shedding, the veils are thinning, and we're able to see and get to the bottom of things so much faster, which is beautiful. So now we are going to pull a card and ask what is the medicine Lionsgate is helping us with? What are we alchemizing during this time? And how do we use this Lionsgate energy to, um, you know, just push forward and to manifest and to bring joy and love into our lives? Mm. So this is the card that we got, generosity. And so actually, interestingly enough, Leos can be known for being kind of self-centered in a way, you know, or being like liking to have the spotlight on them or, you know, a little bit selfish, you know, things like that. But actually the heart of a Leo is one of the most generous things. So this is telling us to step into that place of generosity right of unattached generosity giving from a place of synergy 
And this synergy comes from understanding that when I serve you, I am also serving myself. And when I serve myself, I am also serving you. So this is a especially true in the twin flame dynamic. This is the only dynamic that I have experienced in my life to be so equal, to be so synergistic that I know when I am working at my highest, it is benefiting my twin in that way. And it is so clear. And this is true with all of the relationships in our lives, but with your twin, we're just able to see it better. So here's the thing with generosity is this is especially for our empaths and our sensitives out there who like to change ourselves to suit other people. Being generous with yourself means also being incredibly authentic and tapping into that more pure place inside of you. So this is where those heart activations are coming from, coming from your heart and asking, is this serving me from my heart? And if the answer is no, then you're really not being generous to anybody, right? You might think you're doing the right thing. You might think you're helping somebody, but if it doesn't resonate with your heart, with your soul on a pure, authentic level, then that's actually not generosity. That's actually selfishness in a different way because you're serving your ego self, right? Rather than your authentic self. So the authentic self doesn't ask, you know, is this going to be good for other people? Because the authentic self knows when the authentic self serves itself that it is serving everybody else. So understanding this synergistic relationship between everyone around you, between the whole of the universe, right? We are all one moving part. And so this act of generosity, be generous with yourself first. When you can be generous with yourself first, and this is especially true in your twin flame relationship, when you can be generous with yourself first and fill yourself first, the amount that you will have to actually give will be exponential. And your twin, because you are so connected, can feel the difference of you giving from a place of thinking you need to give and giving from a place of purely wanting to give without attachment, right? We talked about this in the very beginning, without attachment. Giving without attachment means it's coming from this pure place of just wanting the experience of giving without needing to be thanked, without needing the appreciation, without needing the approval. And so when you can really be generous from this place, it heals so much within ourselves and heals so much within all of the relationships around us. So let's all just give a little bit more around this time. If you found this video helpful, definitely share it with somebody that you love. Somebody else out there needs to hear this message. So please share it. I hope you guys have an amazing Lionsgate portal. Let me know in the comments below. What are the things you're working on? What are you manifesting right now? What's going on for you in this 3D physical reality? If you need more help, obviously you know where to go. Check the links in the description. You can find out how you can work with me one-on-one -on -one or also enroll in my seven-week relationship repair course, which is just incredible and amazing. So... We will see you there. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions, put them in the comments and we will talk to you soon. Big love, Serena.